Ah! Mr. Edgeworth? You know him from somewhere? Yeah, of course. I'm his biggest fan. My sister introduced us once and... Right. Her sister was the chief prosecutor after all. Well, what brings you here? I'll warn you. I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. N no, did I? No. It was just Mr. Wright here. He... Hey, don't blame me. We're, we're just here to investigate a murder case. Murder? Her body was found in this nasty bright red sports car in the parking lot. Hmm? That would be my car. Ew, that face. Hmm. <laughs> what of it? What? Y your car? I'll say one thing. She certainly can scream. Okay, you had a body in your in your car. How fun. The case. So, the body was found in your car. Go ahead, say it right. You think I did it, don't you? After you went through all that trouble to help me last year, no less. He has some new animations. No, no, we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. <laughs> uh, wait, no, she didn't do that, I mean... Wait, so you're the chief prosecutor's little sister, then? Y yes, sir. Emma Sky, it... Uh, it's nice to meet you again. Now, that didn't sound false at all. Ah, now I remember. You've really grown. I'll admit, it was a surprise to me, too. To think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. More surprising still... Now I'm forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand. W wait what did you say? Lana Sky is the chief prosecutor. The top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute it herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. You? Mr. Edgeworth? Edgeworth! To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Ah, oh dear. So, rumours. You've heard the rumours about me, haven't you? Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember a time when there weren't rum ru uh, uh, rumours about this guy. Yeah, ho ho ho. Forging evidence, arranging false testimonies, illegal searches, you name it. And then he got framed. Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. Oh dear. What? That's crazy. Hmm. <laughs> some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life, impossible to stop. But... Some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. Toys? That bronze shield? There's got to be a story behind that one. Lana Sky. Chief Prosecutor Sky? Yes, we first worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember. Two years ago. I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. M mistaken? Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person, but I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Then, why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. Oh. <laughs> what? Mr. Edgeworth, your knife was a murder weapon. To be specific, it was a knife kept in the toolbox box in the trunk of my car. Okay. Interesting. Edgeworth's knife was added to the court record. Edgeworth? What? Are you sure you didn't do it? <laughs> Come on, can't he take a joke? You have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. Everybody's fucking ganging up on me. Let's examine the knife. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love this. It's so fun. Whee! I can examine the blood. Lovely. This must be the victim's blood, right? Either that or Edgeworth cut himself peeling an apple. What's Edgeworth doing with a, ni a knife like this anyway? Hey, maybe he spends his weekends roughing it in the wild. Edgeworth? In the wild? I think my fruit peeling theory is more likely. You kidding? I always pictured him as an outdoorsman. Now there's a scary thought. Interesting. Wait, do I? Oh, no prints. No prints? Oh, that's a bit weird. Actually, not really. They could have wore gloves or something. Move! I could go back here. Was there anything here I missed? 
Yeah, because I can't, I can't go over this way. Examine. An oil drum. Looks like it's filled with water. It's heavy. I can't even budge it. The drum over here is on its side. Wait, I know. I'll hide in here and do a stakeout. I think you'll probably just get arrested. In fact, you may not even have to hide in the drum to get arrested. What? I'm not suspicious. Maybe not, but still. Either way. Move! Just trying to think, where could I go next? Uh, We've just been to see Edgeworth in the prosecutor's office. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Actually, wait, there was st more stuff in Edgeworth's office that I didn't see. Or examine more so. Yeah, like that trophy. I mean, it's hardly that suspicious, but, you know. I've been wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. Of prosecutors. Ah, what's that? It's the King of Prosecutors trophy. K -k -k King of Prosecutors? It's a great honour. They send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? So? Not so. So that K, that's... K stands for King? Well done. Yeah, you got a problem with that? I didn't design the thing. King of Prosecutors. Kind of like Employee of the Month, only better. Oh, there we go. So, add it to the court record. Edrith, I want your thoughts. What do you think of this? Boof. Bum, bum. So, so in other words, you were the best of the best this year, huh? You can take that foolish grin s elsewhere, right? I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. Huh? Why is that? I had to go to the police department ceremony to receive that broken shield. The police department? Yes, right next to the police station downtown. You've been there, correct? Where Detective Gumshoe works? Yeah. I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? Why does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. He doesn't seem too concerned about his award, for better or for worse. So yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe. Oh, maybe we should ask him more about yesterday. Can I? Ah, the day of the crime. There we go. Could you tell me more about yesterday, the day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual cleaning day of the prosecutor's office. Cleaning day? Working with the police department, we sought, we sought and file all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transferal. Wiping your hands of all cases, in other words. Oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. There's an annual review and awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got the shield. I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 5.12. That's very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edgeworth private pride ourselves on our precision, Mr. Wright. No, I place a little faith in my memory. The only thing I trust is solid evidence. Edgeworth's parking stub was added to the court record. This is the parking stub from the underground lot. The murder took place around 5.15. So the murder happened right after you got back. Hmm. What, right? I'd appreciate it if you didn't direct that suspicion. If you direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. Um. Oh, God, it's this guy. What's he called? Meekin? Meekings? Something like that? Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm Edgeworth. What is it? I'm here, sir. At the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. Report? What? Did you find new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way this conversation is going at all. Uh, Sky, sir? No, sir. No name of that kind, sir. Not in this report, sir. Oh my god, I love this character already. I think I just heard Edgeworth's lid blow. Mr. Edgeworth's lid isn't on very tight, is it? I made a clear request to the police department. Did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. Sir, but... But, sir... I'm just following orders, sir. Oh my god, they told me to bring this to you, sir. Oh, wait, I'm adding sirs in now. Shit. Jesus. <laughs> Give me your name. Uh, yes. Yes, sir. I was right, it's Meekins. Or Meekins. <laughs> sir, Officer Meekins. 
Right, Officer Meekins, take your report and leave. And good luck with that raise next month. Oh, <laughs> but sir, I didn't know. Poor guy, looks like he was absent on the day they gave out brains and good luck. Oh, what a burn. Right. Y yes, sir. Yeah, he caught me off guard. <laughs> As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. Let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was a de detective from the same department as the patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask them all there. Uh, thanks. He seems to have finally calmed down, at least. Whew! My goodness. Meekins is... Ah, oh, man, Meekins is a character. That's for sure. <laughs> police department! Oh, right! Hey, I see Gumshoe! And Meekins! Awesome! Yeah, I can see them in the background. Whew! We're finally here. Why would they put the detective so far away from the prosecutor's office? It took almost 30 minutes by taxi, and traffic wasn't even that bad. This is my first time to the police department, actually. Hmm? Hold on, what's that? It's a blue badger! Oh, wow, well, that's anim animated too! Disturbing. Why does it undulate like that? No, wait, I know. This is the blue badger. They're trying to make him the police mascot. Wow, Mr. Wright, you sure know that you know a lot about the police department. Still, he does seem familiar, somehow. Forget the blue badger. Who's that next to him? Someone appears to be dancing with the blue badger. Uh-oh, he noticed me. He sure is running over here fast. Gumshoe! <laughs> hey, pal, w what are you doing here? That's my line, Detective Gumshoe. Specifically, why were you dancing over there? What? Uh, well... Well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chance to get information. Hey, I'll have you know I'm a very busy man, pal. There we go. Boop, boop, doo, doo, doo. The case. I'll give you one word of advice, pal. You'd better not agree to defend the suspect in this case. W why not? Huh? Well, it's just that the chief prosecutor has confessed to the crime. She says she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office and she killed him. But what if she's not telling the truth? Yes, well, no. Come on, pal. There's plenty of evidence against her. But what if the evidence was faked? Hey, pal, can I speak to you for a second? Huh? Me? Why is this little girl so peeved at me? She's a relative of the suspect. Lana Sky's sister. Whoa! The chief prosecutor's little sister? Just please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically! Yes, sir. Oh, by the way. You might want to keep your voices down. You don't want to be over... Heard using words like faked. Huh? It's just... It's a sensitive issue with the, with us these days. Investigation? So, what are you doing here, Detective Gumshoe? Me? Oh, well, nothing, really. They kicked me out of criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe? What did you do this time? What do you mean, this time? Then what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. It's true. We've never had a chief prosecutor murder anyone before. Only the highest ranked people are being let into criminal affairs now. The lowest ranking guy in, in there is our chief of detectives. They're not letting any of any of us rank and file detectives in at all. None of you? I know this is an important trial, but isn't that a little odd? So anyway, I thought I'd spend the day getting the badger dance down to a pat. Or oh, down pat, even. Isn't there anything else you could be doing? The Chief of Police himself is directing this investigation, pal. And Officer Marshall was assigned to the underground parking lot. Officer Marshall? Now that I think about it, Emma did seem to know that Marshall guy. A patrolman in charge of a crime scene. It's unheard of, pal. Right, I want to show you the identification of, uh, Goodman. I can't remember his name. Detective Gumshoe, what can you tell me about this? Huh? Hey pal, this is a, te a detective's ID card. You can't just keep that, you have to turn it into the police. It's people like you that get me in s into so much trouble all the time. Meaning Detective Gumshoe must drop his card a lot. Hmm, let's see, Bruce Goodman. Goodman? Sounds familiar. Nah, my mistake. Don't you work together with him in criminal affairs? Whoa, now I remember. Bruce Goodman, he's the victim. Oh, that's what I thought. 
Can you tell us more, Detective Gumshoe? Well, Gumshoe, can you? So, this ID card belonged to the victim. He was a detective like myself. Detective Bruce Goodman. Hmm. Don't you think it's strange? I mean, why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground where we found it? Well, Detective Goodman should have been at the police department yesterday. There was an evidence transferal. But there was an evidence transferal for a case he handled two years ago. Evidence transferal? Mr. Edwards mentioned that too. But Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to say this, but... Word is that Chief Prosecutor Sky called him out there to the parking lot. And Lana's confessing as much. Right... <laughs> what do you know about this? Found in Mr. Edwards- wait, that switched. That was weird. Whatever. Found in Mr. Edwards' car, stamped with Mr. Edwards' knife. Huh. What would drive Chief, Chief Prosecutor Sky to do such a thing? Wait, I didn't mean- I mean, sure, of course someone else really did it. Someone who must have, um, someone who must have a grudge against Mr. Edwards. The car and the knife do seem a little too well organized to be co a coincidence. Poor Mr. Edwards. What could have happened? We have to find out a little more about what's going on with Edwards. Hmm. The trophy? Hey, that's it. That's the King of Prosecutors Award that Mr. Edwards got yesterday. Were you at the award ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? Of course, pal. I got an award for diligence myself. Ah, congratulations. I was wondering, why is... Why is the, the award a shield? And why is it broken? Ah, uh, there's a reason. Um... I'll tell you what it is later. Apparently he's forgotten. But I was proud of Mr. Edgeworth for winning that award. He's even got naysayers in the prosecutor's office. Yeah, we've heard about the rumours. Hmm. So... Rumours at law. He's in a tough spot. Again. Again? Oh yeah, the DL6 thing. Oh, I'm also turned about goodbyes. Well, it all started with the murder of that defense attorney Hammond. But Edgeworth was found innocent. Listen, pal, there have always been rumors about Edgeworth. Forging evidence, making deals with witnesses. Nothing outright, but there were always whispered rumors. Ever since he was accused of murder, no one's whispering, they're practically shouting. But... But there's no evidence against him. No, well, Mr. Edgeworth has always had unusually strong ties to the department higher-ups. It's only natural that people would be suspicious. I had no idea he was under that under the gun. Anyway, this latest case has started a new rumor. People say the only reason he took this case is because he's aiming for the chief prosecutor position himself. What? But I know the truth, pal. Nobody wants to be the one who has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Mr. Edgeworth is biting the bullet on this one. He's doing this for all of us. Yeah, yeah. Well, cheers, gummy. What can I examine? I see there's two people over here. I thought that was Gumshoe, but maybe not. Look, that patrolman, tr patrolman is saluting the other guy. He must be a detective. And then I said, Hey, you do that. Your soup will get cold, buddy. <laughs> That's hilarious, sir. I laughed so hard I cried. Okay. I guess he wasn't saluting. He was wiping tears from his eyes. They make a good pair. Oh, it's not Meekins. I thought it was Gumshoe and Meekins. It looks like him from far away. I was wondering about that. What? The Dancing Blue Badger? It's my masterpiece. Oh! You made this, Detective? The Chief threw together some designs and I just did my thing, pal. The nice work. It's battery powered, so it can go anywhere. There's no switch, so it just... It just dance, dance, dances until the batteries die. Poor Blue Badger. Fated to dance until he drops. So we got the Blue Badger. Cool. And that's all I know about that. I'm not officially on the case, you know. Thank you. Why aren't you handling the case, Detective Gumshoe? We met the guy who is... What was his name? The guy in the parking lot. That'd be Officer Marshall. He was appointed directly by the Chief of Police. 
Officer Marshall. Is he some kind of Wild West Sheriff or something? No, Jake Marshall's just a regular officer. From West LA. From a moment there, I wasn't sure. Look, pal, let me... Let me try to make things a little easier for you. Show them this, and they'll let you examine the crime scene. Maybe. Ah! Very nice. Cheers, Gumshoe! You're a real pal. I'll be surprised if this gets us anywhere. Just act like you're supposed to be there, and nobody will look at you twice, pal. You got it. So if we go back to the parking lot... Right. Aha! Prosecutor's office, underground parking lot. Still find it ridiculous that it's called the underground parking lot, but it's a very high building. But Looks like the investigation is still going. I have to be getting back to the shop. Sorry, looks like I'll be stuck in this pit till the sun sleeps. I'll see you in my dreams tonight then, baby. Oh, Angel. Oh, still here? Ah, uh, hello. Why the surprise looks? Didn't I mention? I've got a boyfriend in criminal affairs too. What happened to the security guard? Wait, what? Hey, what's wrong, Bambino? You're looking like a doggy that's lost its head. This guy is weird. I like him, but he's weird. Strange guy to put in charge of a crime scene. Also, he's got really strange music. Do, 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 do. Marshall, here you go. So what's this? I didn't really actually want to examine it. I wanted to... You know, I wanted to know what it said. Present. Would you mind reading this for me? What's this? I want you fan letters to me go right in the spittoon. It's a letter of, intro of introduction from Detective Gumshoe. Made me investigate. Gumshoe? Ah, that old cow dog. Hmm. He holding a birthday party or something? Huh? Look. Where it should say a letter of introduction, it says invitation. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Gumshoe. I think he just miswrote it. Great, Detective Gumshoe. I owe you one. No worries. This proves it's from Detective Gumshoe. Better than a blood test. Guess I better let you in then. Thank you, Officer Marshall. Officer Marshall isn't a detective, he's a patrolman. That reminds me of something. That is odd. Isn't a crime scene supposed to be handled by a detective or higher? Well, folks, the clues are calling. Welcome to our gold strike. Be like the settler, strike out for lands unknown. Manifest destiny. Let's have a hoot, Danny. Note to self, police investigations are like settling land. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you say? I say I won't be needing this anymore. Today's Gumshoe's letter of introduction crumpled and discarded. I can actually talk to him too. Talk the victim. Officer Marshall, could you tell us more about the victim? <laughs> Good men always die young. Remember that, partner. Uh, could you be a little more specific? Bruce Goodman. He was a detective, right? Well, well. Aren't you a feisty doggy there now? Detective Goodman was stabbed here at 5.15. The smiling Madonna told me the tale. I think he means the witness, Miss Angel Star. One stab to the chest, a fine piece of work. This here's the autopsy report. Add it to the court record. Thank you. Was my sister involved with the victim in any way? Funny you should mention that, Bambina. Chief Prosecutor Sky and, the de and Detective Goodman had nothing in common at all. Huh. Nothing in common. They apparently worked together on a case a few years back. So there's no motive. Goodman wasn't particularly gi a particularly gifted detective. That's one reason why he didn't do much work with the chief prosecutor. My sister called the victim here on the day of the murder, right? Here to this parking lot. So it seems, like calling an unarmed man to a shootout at high noon. It's high noon. Oh dear. I don't mean any offense, but... Officer Marshall, you're a patrolman, right? Not a detective. You calling me out? They shoot you for that in Texas. Huh? I was one of them fancy shoot detectives till two years ago, to tell you the truth. Oh really? Now he tells me. Well, you're a patrolman now, so how can you be in charge of a crime scene? Nothing gets by you, does it, Bambina? So why are you in charge? No reason. We're just short on hands right now. I'm keeping an eye out in the meantime. That's odd, though. Detective Gumshoe was saying he had nothing to do. Nothing important, at least. He's nothing but a sad old cow dog that can't find his tail. That's a bit mean. Gumshoe's the best. It's because he runs with that Edgeworth, eh? Edgeworth? That cow dog's been kicked out of this cattle run by the order of the Chief of Police. 
Just, he don't realise it yet. Detective Gumshoe kicked out of the investigation? Okay. Not very nice now, is it? Aha, I can actually examine shit. Nice. Can I examine this? What is, what is this? This looks like a cell phone. Scientific analysis would suggest this belonged to the victim. I can't think of anyone else it would it could belong to. What's so scientific about that? Should we check it out? Check it out. Right, let's check it out. Ooh! Oh my god, the game's getting sentient! Wait. Oh! Here we go, I was gonna say I wanted to, I wanted to zoom in. Whoop. Does that open the phone? That's fancy. Hmm, the display is still on the radial, the uh, redial button. Redial? Uh, Mr. Wright, most phones keep a record of all the calls you've made and received. You just press the blue button to dial the last number you called. Convenient, isn't it? I'm surprised you didn't know about it. Sorry to disappoint you, but even I know about things like redial. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just, you never know with people from your generation. Whatever. Let's, let's check this phone out. Okay. Can I zoom in again? Oh, I can. So that's the redial re -dial button. I wonder who the owner of this phone called last. Note to self, a defense attorney doesn't think first, he just pushes the button. Ah, oh, still samurai, really? That's incredible. Hey, that song, I know that. Hey, what's going on over here? Oh, over there. Ah, oh, oops, sorry. I see you, partner. You pressed redial on that there phone, didn't you? Uh, it'll, yeah. Whose phone is this, anyway? It was on the ground over there. Whose is it? That belongs to Chief Pros Prospector Sky. Why is it Prospector, not Prosecutor? Oh, he calls them Prospectors. Never mind. What? It's my sister's. She apparently dropped it when she was taken into custody, right after the crime. Look, the last call was made right after, uh, right when the murder occurred. Looks like she was fixing to call someone. Except she only spoke for a few seconds, according to this. Who did she call? No idea. Sorry, partner. Now I got a question for you. Partner? I heard a phone ring just now. One of those newfangled ring tunes. <laughs> you sound so old. A newfangled ring tunes? Oh, that? Oh, I'm sorry. That was my phone. What? 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 Your phone? Yeah, it's kind of strange, but... Someone called me right as we pick up picked up the other phone. A wrong number. I hope you're not lying. They'll shoot you for that in Texas, partner. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh-oh, I've incited the wrath of the Lone Star Patrolman. <laughs> Cell phone! Added to the got record. Hmm. Okay. So, Lana Sky. So, there's no connection between de between Detective Gum uh, Goodman and my sister. I thought it was saying Gumshoe. That's correct, but there's a gold mine of evidence against her. And the prospector tomorrow is none other than Edgeworth himself. I'm afraid your sister's fate is decided, Bambina. Many condolences. Officer Marshall. Yeah, Bambina? How can you say that? You and my sister, you were... Is there something between this cop and her sister that I don't know about? I apologize, Bambina. Something must have gotten to me. Maybe it's that dry wind that's a blowing through the prospector's office. Dry wind or ill will? Someone's up to something here, but who? Office atmosphere. Suspicions about Mr. Edgeworth have been flying around for nearly two years now. Forged evidence, arranging testimonies, you name it. He was unbeatable because he did whatever it took to win. Unbeatable, that is, until he met you. But rumours are just rumours, aren't they? Hi, scripted. How's it going? These are prosecutors we're talking about. Evidence is everything to them. If you follow the rumours about Edgeworth to their source, you find one person. But they're off limits. Untouchable, you might say. One person? Who? Bambina, it's your sister. Chief Prospector, Lana Sky. What? My sister? Edgeworth couldn't rustle all those cattle by himself. Some people load their guns with bullets, some people load them with deals. What, well, you're saying Edgeworth was making deals to win trials? Where there's gun shops, there's bound to be bullets. 
That's what the old timers say. There's a big old secret hidden around here somewhere. Everyone knows it. Is that why Detective Gumshoe was taken off the case? Did they target him because he was closest to Edgeworth? Oh. Oh dear. So what else haven't I, haven't I examined? I mean, there's the car. This appears to be the car where the body was found. Looks like the lock on the trunk is busted. The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. Quite a luxury car, it just screams, I have money to burn. Yeah, prosecutors get the big bucks. Ah, the trunk. What's this? Looks like a note of some sort. Look, something's written on it. Six... Is that 15 or 75? 6-75122. 7S. Oh, okay. You're right, let's see. 6-7S 12 slash 2. Oh, the 12th of February, I'm guessing. It also says Goodman in the top right. There's a name printed on the paper above that. Goodman. Maybe it fell out of his pocket when he was killed. Well, so? What does it mean, Mr. Wright? Uh, okay. How am I supposed to know? Note to self. For deductive reasoning, go to Edgeworth. Not right. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sure Edgeworth, Edgeworth wouldn't know what this means either. Goodman's note added to the court record. So this is like 10 days prior. So that's a long time ago. So, well, how are we doing, Mr. Wright? I guess we've got some clues. We have an autopsy report, a note from the victim, and a cell phone. So, you think we'll be okay? Well, the only thing still bothering me is that Lana is confessing to the crime. She says she did it. No problem. I can guarantee that she's not the criminal. Oh, by the way, Emma? Yes? I know that song your phone plays when it rings. What? It's the Steel Samurai... Steel Samurai theme song, isn't it? That popular TV show? For kids? Yeah. That phone that just rang wasn't mine. It was... yours. At 5.18, just after the murder took place, your sister called you, didn't she, Emma? I... I'm sorry. Can you tell me what you talked about? I... She hung up right away. I see. Hmm. Cell phone added to the court record again! A detective is murdered, and the suspect is the top prosecutor in the district. I've got a bad feeling about this. Like, maybe I still don't know everything that went on here. Oof. To be continued! Perfect. That's a great time to end the session. Oh my god, I'm hungry. <laughs> wow. That was only the first day. And that took... An hour. Oh, I am really looking forward to this- to this case, though. Uh, yes, I do want to save. And that is gonna be the end of this session. Okay. That is going to be the end of this session. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And until next time, take care.